It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi and welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. I'm up early today. It's 7:25. Today's day of big tournament. I'll let you know how that goes tomorrow. I expect to do well. I have no idea how many people are going to be in it. I know that they did not get all 40 people signed up, so it'll definitely be fewer than 40. And that also means there's no guaranteed seat. But the thing is, is the prize is actually $11,000. And if you wish to buy a seat and then have $1,000 to go with it, that's your choice. So honestly, I'd probably keep the $11,000. If anything, use that money to play more satellites on, online and try to get in that way. Because theoretically, I would win a seat before I spent all $11,000. Although it would sure suck if I did. These things happen. So um, I'm ahead for the trip, and it's probably going to be very hard for me to not be ahead when I leave tomorrow morning. There's just only so much time left in the day, and I'm up by $300, and I don't think I'm going to be able to lose $300 today because I'm not really going anywhere. So I don't think it's going to be a problem. Now, you might hear sirens in the background. And if you do, just understand it's because I, yes, in fact, am in downtown Reno and nothing punctuates the morning sky like sirens. After all, everyone who's been out crazy all night has to come down sometime. And nothing makes you come down like the sun going up. And now a train is going by, and maybe you can hear that too. Now the train used to go right through downtown a big pain in the ass because there was no traffic to get through on Virginia Street while the train went through. And the train had to go through slowly because there's always somebody who thinks that they're not really a train. And then they walk across the tracks even though the arm is down. And then they see the train and they go, ah, oh, fuck. And then they run and they just barely get miss getting hit by the train. I don't know why it's a near miss. It's a near hit. If it was a near miss, they would have hit you. So, you know, whatever. But now they dug out this huge, like, under the street thing, which took years to complete, but it's done. And so now you can just walk across Virginia, but the train still does its horn because it's a train, that's what trains do, they're very horny. But um, it's where they took out a traffic light, I mean, it actually looks kind of nice. Although some of the other thoroughfares, east and west of downtown, no longer go through because the, uh, where the train comes back up, it's too high off the ground to have the street the way it was, but it's too low to have it go across the street. You know how that is. It doesn't just jump up. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com and email us at joel at joelshitshow.com.